this is Dr. Sam Goldhaber. I'm president of NATF and on Clot Chronicles. Today I'm going to discuss the use of baby aspirin. In the past several months there have been a multitude of large-scale studies looking at the benefits versus the risks of taking a baby aspirin to prevent heart attack or stroke. Uh, it's been quite common that patients were told by their doctors decades ago to start taking a baby aspirin, and many patients can't even remember when they first took baby aspirin daily or why they were instructed to start taking baby aspirin daily. And we tend to think of aspirin as a completely harmless, over-the-counter medication. In fact, uh, many of us don't even consider aspirin to be a medication. On the other hand, we do know that aspirin can cause stomach upset and it can even cause minor or major bleeding, including GI bleeding or bleeding into the brain. Uh, fortunately, that doesn't happen very often, but those risks of aspirin have to be weighed against the potential benefits. And there have now been a lot of large-scale studies. Uh, they've either been randomized trials or observational studies that are beginning to give us a new message about aspirin. It appears that aspirin, when taken completely for prevention, without any history of heart attack or stroke or coronary artery disease requiring placement of a coronary stent or bypass surgery uh, without the presence of coronary bypass surgery. Uh, aspirin just taken to keep the doctor away in most cases probably uh, is not a very good idea. Uh, on the other hand, aspirin in the presence of known coronary artery disease or known prior stroke uh, or, or aspirin given uh, in patients who've had coronary artery bypass surgery or who've had placement of coronary artery stents, their aspirin is very safe and effective and should be continued uh, even when uh, one's going to undergo surgical procedures. Uh, the aspirin should not really be discontinued except under exceptional circumstances. So we have a dichotomy. Uh, aspirin merely for prevention of coronary artery disease or stroke uh, in most cases is probably not a good idea uh, to prevent coronary disease or stroke. The best approach is to lead a heart healthy lifestyle with a lot of exercise and a good diet a judicious eating. Uh, and look to see if you can lower your cholesterol level, particularly the LDL or bad cholesterol uh, should be made to be as low as possible. Uh, make sure that your doctor uh, discusses with you whether you should take a statin medication to lower your LDL cholesterol uh, to further prevent the chance of a heart attack or stroke. But generally, aspirin, uh, um, in the large trials recently released, uh, has been shown at best to be neutral. Um, on the other hand, aspirin remains to critically important and necessary for patients who have known coronary artery disease or known stroke, uh, prior coronary artery stenting, or prior coronary bypass grafting. So that is the latest update on baby aspirin and heart disease. This is Dr. Sam Goldhaber signing off for Clot Chronicles.